Pioneers win 54-52 with Pioneer coach Megan Price and a Pioneer team that's ended nine games where we haven't been able to win games decided by five points or less. And against Wingate, you know, the last three. This thing, yeah, 60, that 50, felt even better yet. after, you know, the psych tournament last year. I think that's about it, what we've gone to. Every <laughs> game the last three have been decided by five or less. And it wasn't easy, but let's go back to the very end first. And, uh, again, we just couldn't secure something. You know, we, we, we give up the inbound turnover, and Wingate have been coming. They've been coming. They've been putting a lot of pressure on us. Yeah. Um, and you finally get away with just good, straight-up, man-on-man -man defense. Yeah, yeah, I thought so too. And we grinded, and and we knew coming into this, learning from Carson Newman, that the scout is so important. And we reiterated stuff this morning. And then it's crazy because you know I always like I'm standing over there going, okay, we didn't go over this one thing <laughs> that we probably could have, but you run out of time. You know, you yeah. can't get me here for four hours. So uh, I mean, I was so proud of our group for just battling and making it a defensive war and just showing them, you know, what it takes. It's awesome. To the beginning, Sophie Henry not going to be <laughs> in. And Delana DeBus gets her first career start against this and Ann Hancock. 40 minutes, too. It's and crazy. played all every second. And, uh, yeah. yeah, she was challenged a little bit, but, you know, hit some buckets yeah. and, and made some plays today. Yeah, and I thought she made them in crucial times. Like, she makes the three early, I think. And then, you know, just her ability to shoot that mid-range, I've been telling her, like, that's a, that's a key factor coming off a ball screen like that. Um, and so for us, I mean, and then – I had the conversation with her before because we had it uh, at Marcel. She dribbled over and just shot the three. And I said, okay, I want you to shoot the three, just not with 28 seconds on the shot clock if we can run an offense. And so then I almost wish I wouldn't have told her because she looked a little nervous tonight. But, like, she can knock that open three down. So I was proud of her. And, I mean, even her, she goes two for six, one for four. She has six assists. And, I mean, that's huge for us. And Blair Schultz today. Man. And, and her, those two in the backcourt, she hit a three. DeBus followed up with the three. Blair had an awful first half. I mean, awful. it was as bad as it could be. But she continued to get steals for deflect passes and continue to create opportunities for her yeah. team. And then she started to score in the second half. Yeah, and I think it's just big. You have to have her on the floor uh, because she does make plays at the right time. Um, and then it helps us a lot with ball handling and handling that pressure and stuff. Uh, I was proud of her because I, I know that she struggled so bad in the first half. And it was just silly turnover stuff that we don't she doesn't usually do. Um, and so her just bouncing back like that and being big for us by handling the basketball was huge, huge. The two big ones for us uh, against Carson and Machado. Tommy Pham and uh, Maya Belton. They scored Man. tonight. You know, they still do it. Tommy, 18 straight double doubles. Uh, yeah. Belton's had a huge first half, but controlled more of the defensive end with her block yeah. shock ability. And I think just altering shots because of fear by yeah. Wingate. Yeah, and that's a big thing with Maya that we're, we're actually learning this defensively. You know, who do we really want to put her on? Because at the end of the day, we could have her in help side to block shots, or we could have her linked to guard somebody. And so I think tonight, every time she was on uh, Clark and every time uh, that – she was on Heggy, I think that's how you say it. Yeah. yeah, every time she was on them, they just they struggled when Maya guarded them with her length. And I thought that was a huge thing. And I think she learned a great valuable lesson about letting them get to the basket so she can block a shot when they jump stop. And that's one thing we talked about. But until that happens, you don't know it. And that's where just Maya encompasses everything for us right now. And she's doing everything that we need to do from rebounding to scoring. And she's listening to me on the side. You know, if it's a shot I don't like, the next time I'm like, hey, use this. And just her ownership to me and that leadership is huge for us. They were four of 19 combined when she defended them. Uh, just kind that, of. Oh, that's good to know. I'm yeah. going to tell her that when we go four downstairs because that's huge. Four of 19. I mean, that's huge. Big. D. Sharmont got you a bucket there late. And I, and I think just what she she stretches Ooh. the floor, you know, but yeah. she has no fear of going to the bucket. And it's, it looks effortless. It effortless. scares us to death, but it looks effortless. Uh, but it looks effortless. And she did a good job tonight because one of the things we've been talking about is slowing down and reading what they give you, you know, because. There's been a couple of times we've played and people have dug on her. And so it's like read, uh, the ability to read that kick out, let us shoot the open three, then we'll come back to you. And I, I thought she did a phenomenal job of just slowing down with the basketball, you yeah. know. And, I mean, it was awesome. What I think is good about what today means is that Wednesday didn't hurt us. Yes. You know? And I think that's what <laughs> That today was, means. you know, the biggest thing we talked about is just that bounce back win. And, you know, we needed to get a top three win on that other side. And Wingate's going to be in the top three. And so, for us, I just think, you know, not, I don't want to say cushion. I want to win every game. 
but I think that that just gives us a little bit more credibility, you know, down the stretch. And and I know that they're going to beat some good teams in our conference down yeah. the stretch. And so, but I'm just so excited. It was awesome. <laughs> yeah, it was. I mean, we've been. Well, you know, it's like when you lose those two, you know, yeah. it, it just it's it's huge for us to grow and learn from that. And even right here, I mean, I can complain and say it's a foul or whatever, but the fact that they got the ball back and we still got stops, I think, was a big, big moment. Four stops. Four yeah. stops, four. actually. <laughs> four, four stops. Four stops, which was huge for us. In about 26 seconds. Yeah, it was four great. Stops. That was impressive. It's going to feel like a vacation it, for you guys. Man, <laughs> we might need a little bit of rest after that. You know, playing people 40 minutes and stuff, I think just it'll give us a little time to get our bodies back. Um, but also staying in, you know, staying in shape and making sure that we work on the things that we want to work on because, you know, a night like tonight, I was proud of our team because we didn't do great offensively, especially first half, and we were a little out of it. Obviously, we're throwing DeBusk in there for the first time, but I thought she did a great job. It was just, you know, we seemed a little off with handling the basketball, and we were trying to take shots too quick yeah. and not work the basketball. So I'm proud of our group for on a night that doesn't look just the best that you still just grind it out defensively and get that win. Right, she's the happiest person in Grant County. This now. might be right. the happiest you've seen me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She's Megan Price. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Just uh, Pioneers week off. We'll go to Coker next Saturday, but they'll enjoy this one. Tusculum beats Wayne Gates, losing, ending a three-game losing skid to the Bulldogs. Today, your final, Tusculum 54 and Wingate 52. Back with our final thoughts here from game one on the Pioneer Sports Network.